Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss about the 3D viewport. 3D viewport is the default area where you will be working during the course. Now, here in 3D viewport, what you see is a 3D grid over here. Fine. This is your y axis represented by green. This is your x axis represented by red. And there is z axis going up and down, which is not shown right now, but it is usually represented by your blue color okay one grid is one unit we can set the units to empirical or normal mks systems meters so this can be defined by us there is also something called as a blender unit so one square is one unit this is the default cube which is usually given to you we have a camera and we have a light this is the area where you'll work working this is infinite space and the center most with respect to coordinate is 0 comma 0 comma 0 that is the center of our universe so we usually start working point from this point and this is a reference to all other locations so while working with your objects you will be working in different modes in this 3d view area you will have some tools provided to you on the left hand side and some gizmos and other options provided to you on the other sides which do some kind of thing like looking from the camera grabbing moving zoom in zoom out and so many other things other tools for moving scaling and so so many things dependent upon the mode we are working on these menus could look different like if i go to if i select an object and if i go to say edit mode i might get a different menu so this is our 3d working area and some options relating to those things we get over here dependent upon what we are working so we have view select and other things things that you can do on your objects okay so i have changed the mode so you can see the menu changes according to the mode that is changed so you'll get uh, different kind of things dependent on this again lot of things are here this is something to do with snapping shape how the shape can take place our axis is and few other things over here so this is the 3d view area where we'll be working a lot of keyboard shortcuts are used while working so one important aspect that you have to remember is the keyboard shortcuts usually only work with respect to that window where the cursor is so if you are using a keyboard shortcut make sure your cursor is here otherwise it may not work or you may have a different kind of result so this is our 3d view window we'll be seeing more details in upcoming session